So the movie begins with a small town, and this was the time in 1860. We see a house in the middle of the forest. In this house, a woman named Florence used to live with her three children. One day, the weather was very bad, and as it was the time in 1860. At that time, there was no electricity, that's why these people used candles. Even today, Florence is sitting in her room with her three children. Suddenly she has to go down. Then she sees something behind her, which was covered with a white cloth. She gets very worried when that white cloth was going to her children's room. She gets scared. When Florence follows it, she doesn't see anyone. But when she came to her children's room, her son was missing from there. She asks her daughter. She says that a black man took him. She thought that her daughter was scaring her. She goes down to find her son. She asks her maid to find her son. Then she hears a noise from her children's room. When she goes to her children's room and sees, she doesn't find either of her children. She was very scared, she starts searching her children's room crazily. Her maid comes to her, and tells that she didn't find her children anywhere. Then Florence sees a white cloth behind her. The one behind that cloth was laughing scarily. Florence thought that he must be her son, who was joking with her, but when she removed the cloth there was no one there. The story goes on for three months. We see a lady who is a paranormal investigator. She knew very well about ghostly souls and could talk to them. She was helping a man. The man's son was also missing. Florence comes there at that time. She asks for help from that lady but she refuses. Florence was very sad after hearing this. Because her children were not found yet. We see another lady there. Her name was Kelly. She was also a paranormal investigator, but her ways were different. She asks Florence why she came. She says that three months ago her children were missing, and now I feel that there is a ghost of a man in my house. His name is Nurseryman. She says that her children used to call that ghost by a name. When they told me I didn't believe my children. But now I believe that that ghost took my children with him. I don't know why I feel like my children are still alive. Because I hear my children laughing with a strange scary laugh. And I hear my younger daughter crying. After hearing this, Kelly was ready to help her. The next day, she goes to her house. Florence has covered all the windows of her house with cloth, because she could see that ghost in the glass. When Kelly removes the cloth from the glass, she can't see anything. Here we know that this house was the ancestral home of Florence's husband. And a few years ago, her husband died. Kelly asks her, that where do you hear your children's voice the most? She tells her about the children's room. Kelly takes out her endorsing rod. This was the rod with which she could talk to the ghosts. When Kelly comes to the children's room, she feels like someone slapped her. Kelly says to the children of Florence, are you here? If you are, make me feel your presence. That's when ABC blocks come and fall down. They were making words. Here, means we are here. That's when the rod in her hand gets hot, which burned her hands. Then we see Kelly's house. There was also her son. She tells her son about Florence, that she needs my help, and asks her son to bring some books. Her son gives Kelly a letter from Florence in which Florence writes that she doesn't want to live in her house. And living in that house reminds her of her children, and everything that happened with Kelly in her house. She was also telling her to stay away from this case. But Kelly had decided, that she will definitely solve this case. She shifts to the same house after a week, and then she removes the cloth from all the windows of the house. Now she stands in front of the mirror, and starts looking at without blinking her eyes. She first puts holy powder outside the children's room, so that no soul will be able to go out, if it exists in the room. She also puts three to four bells. Now she reads a book to complete the method of the mirror, so that she can look around in the other world. But then she saw someone sitting on a chair in the mirror. She also feels Florence's daughter, who came back to her room after roaming around. The soul of the nurseryman was also trying to scare Kelly again and again. Kelly tells him that you can't scare me, and you can't do anything to me. When she goes to sleep, in the middle of the night, she hears someone crying from the children's room. When she goes there she sees a scary doll. The next day, when Kelly sees her neck in front of the mirror, there were strange marks on it, and there were also blocks on which it was written, I can. After that, outside the children's room, Kelly also keeps some coins, so that the soul does not harm her. She finds a drawing made by the nurseryman, behind which, a, uh, was written. One day, Kelly's son sends her a letter, because he found out about an old woman, who used to live in this house that now belongs to Florence. Kelly goes to meet the old woman at the behest of her son. The old woman tells her that I have felt someone's soul in that house. 
and many times I have seen it in the mirror. It's been seven years, but even today I am scared of that soul. The old woman tells her that the same soul had also made my brother disappear, and my brother could not be found to date, after which we left that house. Otherwise, he would have killed me too. After a while, Kelly drops the drawing of the nurseryman, which the old woman recognized, because this drawing was made by that woman's brother, who had disappeared. She says that when my brother wanted to tell everyone about this, no one believed him. Kelly asks the old woman if there is no way to stop this soul. The old woman says no, seven years ago, a man came to me, who lived in the same house. And his children had also disappeared. He also came to me for help. And here we find out that the old woman was talking about a man, who was no one else but Florence's husband. Florence's children disappeared three months ago. So why did her husband come to, this woman for his children seven years ago? We will find out later. Before leaving, the old woman tells Kelly a shocking thing, that that soul had given me a sign. After which it kills every person it marks. But I left that house that's why I'm alive. When Kelly shows her her sign, the old woman says you have to leave that house soon. Your life is in danger. But Kelly doesn't listen to the old woman and leaves. She had now come to Florence. She tells her everything that the old woman had told her. Florence criticized herself after hearing this, because she didn't believe her children. However, her children told her. When Kelly asks her the reason for her husband's death, she says that that soul had given my husband a sign, after which he died and I am also given the same sign. That's why I left that house. After hearing this, Kelly came back to her house, because she had asked her son for some books, that were written by no one else but Florence's husband, because he used to teach at the university. Kelly's son brings a lot of books from Darkwood House. Kelly and her son read those books all night, but they don't get anything. That's when Kelly's son feels that someone has put his hand on his shoulder. He is very scared and because of this fear, he leaves there. Kelly finds out the real truth. When she reads the book written by Florence's husband, Florence's husband had lived in the same house since childhood. That soul used to scare him in his childhood. But when he grew up and got married, that soul, who was also called a nurseryman, but when he made his children disappear, Florence's husband remarried and he had two children. This time, Florence's husband was ready to face that soul. But this time also, his children disappeared. Then he married Florence. That means, Florence was his third wife. This time also, he was ready to face that soul. But before this, he died. And then Florence's children disappeared. After knowing all this, Kelly goes to the children's room, where that nurseryman's soul was coming and scaring her again. When Kelly tells all these things to Florence, she cries a lot and doesn't stay in control. That's why Kelly gets her admitted to the hospital. Then she comes back to Florence's house. Here, her son also came to meet her. When he comes and goes to that room, he reaches there and sees the coins that Kelly had kept there. Kelly's son removes one of those coins. Then Kelly's son hears the crying of the children. When he calls Kelly, there was no one there. The door was closed suddenly. On the other side, Florence jumped and lost the life. Kelly comes back to Florence's house, and challenges that soul that you can't scare me, and breaks all the windows of the house. After which she tells that soul to leave my son. If you want to take him, take me with you. When she finds him, she finds his son. She takes him to her house, where she finds a book in which she finds, that in the old days, people used to do magic. So, Kelly reads the method here. If that person's bones are removed and made holy, and buried in the ground, then that soul will be freed. After knowing this, Kelly goes back to Florence's house. Kelly found that sign upon finding. She finds a skull from that room, which she gives to her son to bury. When she goes there, a soul comes and makes Kelly unconscious. Florence's house was on fire. But Kelly's son takes that skull out and buries it in the ground. After which we see a man next to Kelly, who was picking her up. Kelly's son was looking at his mom, who was telling him to come to her. When he follows his mom, he finds Kelly's dead body. Yes, Kelly is dead, and her son picks her up, and takes her with him while crying. Here, whoever wanted to face that soul, lost his life. But she killed that soul while dying. But in return, she lost her life. And the man we saw who gave Kelly his hand, was her husband's soul who came to take Kelly with him. And with this, this film story ends here.